Welcome back, everyone, to Old World Blues. Of course, the A to Z series, which you know by now. And we're playing as what was Lloyd's Ministry, but now the Green Union of Canadian Socialist Republics. But to put Red Rockets to shame, as we're losing every battle on the front right now. The Katarina, watch as the construction crews continued on safe haven. Lost in thought. There are benefits of thinking outside the box. Truth be told, Katarina felt bad about forcing the people of safe haven out of their city, but the benefits of this project have been too good. Fuel is important, not just economically, but a key resource for the production and subsequent use of battle tanks. A central refueling hub would prove a great boon to Lloyd Minster's competitive capabilities in the battles to come, not to mention how important the storage room would be for alleviating space within their tightly packed cities. This has been a necessary choice, and a Katharina knew it. An explosion rang out, disturbing a Katharina's thoughts. A crane and multiple constructed buildings had been decimated in the ensuing explosion. I assume the warden's resistance efforts were still ongoing. She growled angrily, knowing that she'd have to deal with effects later. Try as you might, you can't take back your loss. A Katharina muttered to herself. The Wardens would continue their futile efforts for a time, but soon enough they'd come to learn that Katharina as well was final, as we're losing every battle, like I said. Um, so, like, I, like previously, we're still going to have to use our tanks to the best of our abilities, and to whittle down the enemy's strength as much as humanly possible. Um, I don't know, we're winning a few battles here and there. Are they attacking us? We'll attack them in, re in retrospect, too. Uh, they're attacking as well. Let's see if we can do anything there. Yeah, main goal is a hold, as best we possibly can. We've done a little more damage, though. <clears throat> now they only have 42 divisions max. Which is not bad. Not great. We should go here to here. That'll things make things a little bit faster for us. Hey, look at that. Hey, you get two divisions encircled instead of one. Great. Can you do this, maybe? You go straight across here? Let the infantry move in. <clears throat> that would be for the best. Do that maybe? Oh, those are slowly regaining on us, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we just don't have enough divisions for anything. Oh, we have a lot of army XP though. <coughs> Excuse me. So I went with uh, state-funded radio broadcasting or programming because we need more political power. We really need more political power, and so we can actually core more things here. But we still have to go to new economic policy. So. I want a core stuff. I really, really want some core stuff. If you could do this, two tanks should be able to accomplish this. But we will see. Maintenance efficiency is better. Really help our guys out here as best as we possibly can. And can you help out here too? As long as they don't move in here, that's good. Oh, there's only one division there. Well, still destroying enemy brother or enemy brotherhood, enemy uh, tank division. Well, that'd be quite ideal. And you might want to help out here too. Good. Very good. We're still losing some of the battles, but we're doing okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we can finally do this one. It only took us like two episodes. Fine jewel. By combining the commune's achievements, far and few between as they may be with our own, we've grown into something greater than the sum of its individual parts. A true industrial launch pad from which to spread a revolution to the wider north. We'll not rest until we see this dream through, one way or another. Thank God. We can actually get another research slot. Finally. It only took us three episodes into the fourth one to get this. Ooh. Uh, this, that would take too long to go around. Can we go one, two, three there? Just launch your attack here. This might be a little risky, but that's how we like it sometimes. And go straight up top. Top of the mountain. Alright, so that's good. Uh, I don't think we can get another resource slot, can we, right now? How much money do we have? Oh, we a little bit, actually, we still have a little bit of money. We still might not... So I might do new citizens care package. We could continue to do some of these too as well. That would not be bad. That might actually upside a little bit too. So it doesn't look like we can get into the land auction yet. Ration of the followers. So if that's the case. Um, sure, infantry. We're still using infantry quite a bit, so. Nice. With you two, I want you to go here to here. Single simple divisions. Havre. Immediately go in. Rep for the tank. Well, hop it more, please. Thank you. And beautiful. So, what are we at now? 22 divisions versus up to 35. Not ideal, but we're actually holding the line decently. We might be able to go down here if we can do this. That'd be kind of nice, but not. Beautiful. Good. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Uh, where are the rest of the tanks? We have two tanks here. 
Are we lacking any tanks at all? Yes, a few. Not many, but just a few. Take these guys out. You can take out that brother division. Nice, good stuff. Oh, and it's not a brother division, it's just a normal division. Good. Could you do this? That's a wide sweep. They might be able to, perhaps. Yes. There you go. Nice. Uh, you take you two. Good. Now they're up to 32. Max. Which is nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. You guys focus here. Three divisions versus one. I know it's special forces, but still. And then you can guys go this way. Go that way. And really, in the end, it's to take out an enemy division. Just one. But it's a special forces division. Awesome. Oh, now they're forcing the attack, eh? Uh, there's too many ways around here for us to do that. Good. <clears throat> Very interesting choice by them. They're gonna kill off their own division. I like that. I like that too. Oh, come on. Keep killing yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Can I say that on YouTube? I don't care. Uh, I've been here long enough. I already have a strike on one of my channel. Hey, finally. Finally, we got that. Finally a 4th research slot. My gosh. Ugh, it's been too long. There you go. Nice. Good stuff. Can you guys win there? That would be pretty nice. If you could. Get our divisions on the line again. That's fine. Help them out. They have gone the wrong direction now. Good, and now we're gonna actually grab what? Good stuff. Very nice. Where are we at? 2,000 losses, 8,000 losses. We are now equal in terms of division count, hopefully. I would like to get down here to rush through this part first. Um, so we can cut these guys off here. Get these after schools, nice. I should go there first. There you go. Anywhere else, we do have a tank here. If we get bullets across like this, that'd be awesome. Don't stop us, please. Don't even try. Combat engineers. Oh, come on. Hila. Keep these guys in place. No. Oh, okay, you can go that way. That's fine, whatever. Go here, too. Can you stop getting encircled? Thank God. My goodness. There you go. Now we're going to do a general attack. You're going in. You're all going in. There you go. Hello. Where did you come from? Doesn't matter. Alright, so we've lost 2,000. Probably end up 3,000. 10,000 losses. We have more divisions than them. And our guys are just going for it. Can you guys just go for two? Let's get down here. I mean, it's not that many divisions to encircle, but it's still something. Hopefully we can make it. Hello, where are you going? Go, 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 go. It's still at least one division there. Just follow them and kill them off. Here we go, join the NCR, that's nice. Don't care though. Three goals up there. 
Yeah, at least we got him. Hey, we didn't want to go to war with these guys. They went to war with us. Okay, you went back here. All right, then. That's an interesting choice. Thank you very much for doing that, actually. And we actually make two more divisions normally now. Just go. Yellowstone? I guess. But you're all the way down here. Might as well all the big ones. Hey, Steel Town's ours. Nice. I don't remember Steel Town at all, but okay then. Very good. Keep those guys in place. What are the tanks doing? Go here first. <clears throat> Nice. Good stuff. Thanks. They're hard to beat. They can be beat. Don't get me wrong. But they're really hard to beat sometimes. Ah, Steel Town's over here. It's a lot of 11. Cool. Um, I guess we can do that one. I only get 166 caps, is that all? Something like that, maybe? Help these guys out. Maintenance, nice. Good stuff. Ah. <sighs> We're attempting to do an encirclement here, too. There you go. Did we get encircled? It looks like it. I don't think we did, though. How much more do we need? This is kind of ridiculous. I mean, we're literally all over the place here. Help them out. The Lord comes around. The courier arrived at the dead of the night, carrying a letter bearing the insignia of the House of Yorkton. It seemed as though the sword of the North had finally come knocking. Oh, crap. During the war of the First Republican Coalition, Pleasantdale took advantage of the ensuing chaos, occupying Wadena and the surrounding settlements while the former Marshal of Longenburg was busy down south. Some had warned this would come back to bite us. At last, it did. Amid the letter's formalities and superficial pleasantries, a clear ultimatum emerged to see the occupied lands or suffer the consequences. No choice but to agree to these terms. Wadena? Let him come. You know what? I need a little bit more time here. He can have Wadena. That's not a big deal. Got quite a bit of political power, though. No chief of navy, unfortunately. Still, this guy here. Still wouldn't be bad to choose. Um, still. We're we building more roads? Okay, we can build more things here. Good. Oh, there you go. And then... Do we need any more political power? I guess this whole stuff here is done. Voice of the people. It's already maxed out. I mean, I don't. Does it really matter? By one percent a day. Is there any point to do it though? I'd rather just end up coring stuff. Red deer. Gets quite a bit more manpower, which is nice. Good. Let's go here first. Why are you stopped? Did I specifically not tell you to go? I'm pretty sure I did. There you go. Now you're moving. Moving and grooving. Of course, you're fighting over the river. You made a poor choice, and you had to kill yourselves off that way. I'm not sure why, but okay, we finally got him. My god, that took forever. Now just us and the Kingdom of Manitoba. Not ideal. 
All right, so at this point, we got more than enough army XP to do this. Um, we're going to get a lot of motorized. Uh, are we missing anything here first? Oh, we need more motorized. We're going to get a lot of motorized. I don't mind these, but these might slow us down. Close enough. So we have motorized tankers. It's very cheap, which we like. Mobile, mo oh, mobile enforcers. Mobile infantry gives you what? A little more armor. 12 armor. Mobile enforcers give you... 19. Ooh. Mobile demo teams. Mobile fire teams. What are you doing, mobile enforcers? Obviously, we're not going to be able to make very many of them. But when's the last time I actually played with mobile enforcers? If you switch this one around with fire teams, that actually hurts us still more. You might get slightly more air attack, which means nothing. Yeah, no. Speed's pretty good. Is anything here slowing us down at all? No. And the support teams are fine. Yeah. Mobile maintenance. You can throw mobile maintenance and then... Can you also throw maintenance on your two? No. Darn it. It only costs us ten. Holy crap. That's nice. So guys, we're going to start with you four. So we have updated tankers. 85 and 45. Motorized tankers. Actually, is way better already. They have armor. Breakthrough is 156. These guys have way better breakthrough. Infantry has 175. Way better defense. Organization, slightly worse. And slightly worse recovery rate. Recon is the same. Initiative is the same. It takes more equipment, obviously, too, but still. Do we have enough for them? I know we're using uh, a lot of infantry armor for everything else here. Uh... Oh, yeah. Well, that's a lot of hurry. Uh, don't care what they want. Captain's Terminal. We read everything there. Political actions are looking pretty good. Military signing bonuses. Uh, we probably need that. Now, we still go to war with the Pass Keepers, but I have a feeling these guys are going to come and try to kill us, too. They look like they're out of manpower, but they're not. We need more divisions, too. That's good. You know what? Go for this one, since uh, that'll help us reduce resistance to enemies. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Infantry armor. So if that's a case, you're updated tankers. Go with two of those. Riders could use some dogs. Tank battalions. Anything else? Oh, we need mobile maintenance. Herds entrenchment a little bit, but that's alright. Not bad. Rosebud. Where's Rosebud? Right in front of us. And then we have another one too. The Monsters of the East. Don't really care about that one. Because we don't have to. And... Missoula. Right in front of us. Have I been in Missoula? I might have been in Missoula before. God dang it. Alright, so if we go to war with these guys, what's going to happen? I think we'll hold off in the north and make encirclements in the center. There's a lot of trees and forests and whatnot. Or actually, maybe the plains down here. Actually, this the southern front would be way better to hold them off. And just race around. Northern front, not so much. My god, do we need divisions or what? We have, like, no divisions. Then again, we do need to go to war with the Pass Keepers, too. But I'm worried about these guys are going to come to cut a war on us. We need more manpower. Especially since this is done and over with. This doesn't even matter at this point. Um, 
good. Another tank division. It's all good. And we're going to core more, too, if we can as well. Red Deer was good at core. Calgary, 4,000. That's good for resources and manpower. Sure, why not? 150. Uh, it really doesn't matter. There you go. Hmm. I mean, they have, probably have a lot of divisions over here. F up to 52, 39, 50, 29. I'd rather go to War of the Kingdom Manitoba first. Um, our old enemy. Yeah. To the east lies the birthplace of the CPF's undoing. It's up reeling under the weight of the steep bureaucracy and overexpansion. It only took one light show before it all comes crumbling down, and Catherine was prepared to savor every moment of it. Reckless aggression. Union of Canadian Social Republics. Stoon, you know, vendor, Pleasant Dale. The old enemy. Oh, and they're allied with Nathaniel's Watchmen, which makes sense. Um, at this point, I think I'm just going to save up some more political power, because we're not ready to go to war with these guys, and these guys were demanding to go to war with us, so we might just wait to go to war with them. Um, so there's that idea. And we're back in January. We've caught a little bit more. We've got a few more divisions. We're going to be completely underpowered trying to fight the Britannian Empire. Oh. Um, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> For the most part, we're here to defend, except the tanks. The tanks are here to roll on through, and I have a feeling that they pretty much are going to end up doing that, because we have more of them. And we're also using our uh, enforcers here and whatnot. Uh, we're gonna lose here and there. I get it. Oh, they have a lot of tanks. Up. Do they have tanks up here too? No. No, they're pretty strong too. But in the south, they're not so strong, which is why I send most of the tanks to striking as well. Um, can you get down to here? All the way down to here, maybe? Because we'll be losing quite a few guys here in the north due to their special forces. Uh, and then, uh, really, the cent center uh, focus here, but. Really, I'm just waiting for the southern forces to move faster. Oh my god, you already got encircled. Are you kidding me? Well, if that's the case, you're gonna force defense then. And we got encircled again. Okay, this might be a really bad idea then. Well, I hope you move faster than this, because we're gonna lose quite a few divisions. We would have lost a few, looks like. Yeah, no, this is impossible. Okay then. Good to know. Really good to know. Um, I might go back and redo this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we just we just can't fight these guys. The Britannian Empire is too strong. They got a lot of divisions. They have a lot of divisions overall. But we're still just kind of coring stuff and whatnot. So, other than that, military starting boys, we're doing actually really well. We don't have anything else here, but we'll go back and rethink our strategy here for fighting the Britannian Empire. And here we're now at. After uh, some frustrating events with the uh, Britannian Empire, We've now gone back further west, took out the Pass Keepers, because they were a little frustrating too. Um, but we're doing all right, and actually the tanks have been doing relatively well in the mountains. Our infantry, our motorized infantry too, kind of sucks, not gonna lie, it actually really is really bad. We never recommend using them. But our tanks are good. Tanks are very good. Um, other than that, we've been, we've been doing all right. So I apologize for not showing you all the war with the uh, Britannian Empire, but that was a pain in the butt. And the Pass Keepers, I hate fighting for Pass Keeper territory, it's just all over the place. It's not very much fun. But we made it work. And we're doing alright. We still have no manpower, but what else is new? Um, what else we got here? Oh, uh, new month, December 1st, 2284. This is a much longer campaign than I thought it would be. Uh, I guess an expedition, sure, why not? Um, what type of other land auction would we want? What benefits? Vehicles. Mechanized, ancient tactics, wasteland tactics. Locals wouldn't get any benefits. Now, what enforcers? We're using mobile enforcers. Would that get more benefits? We could try it. It looks like it It actually might, maybe. I could be wrong about that. And we're not using heavy special forces. This would probably benefit us the most, Wasteland Tactics, which makes the most sense for us. Uh, we're going to be the Legion as well, too. Infantry, just normal infantry and walking infantry get a lot of bonuses. Special forces get bonuses, but it doesn't matter too much. So we're going to go with Wasteland Tactics. And go uh, real Wasteland Tactics. Minor Arms Training, sure, why not? And we'll go here too. Also, we did two two more focuses. After we capitulated these guys, this one auto completed Beacon of the Night. The South is home to largely insignificant cities, states, and tribes. But in an equation, an unknown remains such, no matter how small. Ekaterina deems it the best to adopt the preemptive approach. And under our protection. 
and assuming ghouls and dwellers of the region have nothing to fear so long as we're here to watch our backs, whether they want to or not. So we did one as well, which is nice. Now I'm not sure what else we get to core for free, so I'm just going to go around the edges here. This doesn't make any sense to core any of these places, but it makes it look nicer. And we do have a small little navy, because actually uh, the Britannian Empire had 100, like 106 ships or something like that. So that's good. And we won't be pushed around. Very nice. Cool. Now yeah, we we'll finally do this one. The Western Vanguards. Shift work. Thank you, T80s. Yeah, it's been a long time. Oof. Sure, why not? I'm not sure where to send you guys next. Dramate? Because now we have 19 tank divisions, which is just awesome. The infantry is really not good, though. The motorized infantry, I should say. The infantry in general. Not bueno. What time to go on? We got a lot of read here still. Western Vanguard, and then we're gonna do lead foot motorized. Yeah, that'll be good. And then eventually, you're gonna just do motorized too. Lead foot. Uh, unless we have enforcers here. Yeah, lead foot's good. They're all going to become lead, lead feet anyways. Ekaterina marched up and down the courtyard of the Avail Mount Cache. Scanning the ward and POWs lined up against the back wall one by one. Whoever wasn't well-built appeared stoic. Whoever wasn't stoic appeared weathered, and whoever wasn't weathered seemed well-built. She had made up her mind. Rejoice, keepers of the past. The ferocity and bravery you have demonstrated on the battlefield is not going unnoticed, and neither has the commitment you have demonstrated to the well-being of the mountain dwellers. From the proud miners of Avail Mount to the fishermen of Bonner's Ferry, it is evident these people look up to you. Every single one of you will be allowed to continue upholding his, this noble legacy. It will be your solemn duty to protect the Canadian workers of the Rockies from the ruffians and counter-revolutionaries that dwell along the coast. And you shall do so with the backing of the greatest industrial powerhouse the North has ever seen. Be prepared to offer your hearts, for your glory days are still ahead. In time, they might even come to believe this. Oh, yeah. A tiny bit of manpower, which is not going to make up for anything that we have. Oh, sword not sweet. We have the money for it. Might as well. Oh, and military sending bonuses. You know what? This is a scare package. I'm sure we could put that to use. Uh, sure, special forces. Sure. I'm not sure if we get a war going drama today later on or not, but it would be kind of cool if we did. Cool. Eh, happens. At least we got some other manpower out of that. A little more money is nice. Tax relief. Of course, I read this one, our old enemy, already. To the east lies the birthplace of the CPS undoing, itself really under the weight of state bureaucracy and overexpansion. It only takes one light shell before all comes crumbling down, and Ekaterina was prepared to save her every moment of it. So, they're already gone. We don't get reckless aggression. Because we're already done with it. Go figure. Outcome of the expedition? Probably nothing. Sometimes I really hate this place. Ekaterina rubbed her eyes. Uh. Letting out a heavy sigh and began to read the report. Oh boy. Uh, that would have been helpful a long time ago. The blizzard devours us. Vasily, Vasily, Bill, where are you? I can't see anything in the storm. George, I'm here. Where's the convoy? I don't know. The darn storm blew it out of nowhere. We'll stay close. Maybe we can find one of the tanks. We should be able to... Oh. What's wrong? Uh, yeah, I just got tripped. Oh god, that leg is my... Frank, it's Frank. He's dead. He's all... He's all in solid. We're gonna die here. Where is everyone? Bill? Bill, are you still there? I can't see you. Where are you? Ah, my finger. My finger broke off. I, I can't feel my legs. God help me. Someone help, please. Please, I don't want to die here. It's so cold. Oh, God. God dang it. That sucks. What is this? Through and through. They should have left when they had the chance. The last lap. But once upon a time, one could have accused the remnants of the CPF to have lost their way. But there's no room for debate so far as the regurgitations of the CPFC are concerned. Their principles came crushing down under their heads as they split it off into nothings. A time has come to remind them what good socialist doctrine looks like. And, uh, oh. Manitoba, Pandora's Pinata. Just how many strings do we need to carve our way through before reaching the Puppet Master? Good. Well, since we're here, let the tanks go. Come on, tanks, are you done yet? Yeah, the infantry, not so great. I like the motorized. I mean, I love how fast we're going. But still, and there goes New Lisbon. Yay. Lit Gerwood, eh? Not bad. Hey, we're looking pretty good. Do we need to go to where the Broken Coast at this point? Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, you might as well. You guys can do that. Um, 10 divisions here. Go ahead. 
that's fine. I don't want to do you guys. There you go. That should be enough. So you guys can come up through here for the dredgers next. Motorized tankers, updated tankers. Well. And more political power. The last lap. Healing powder is nice. Um, reckless aggression. I'd like to see where that one is. Ooh. Or not. Telephone. Good. Oh, my bad. Wrong one. There you go. Superman auxiliaries. Citizen militia. It's not bad, actually. Oh, so we get worse defense, actually. Better break through more soft attack. Interesting. Huh. Oh, they're fighting the Hydra Confederation. Are we out of anything besides manpower? Got plenty of guns. Looking pretty good on everything. We like to see. Last laugh. Pulse code modification. So this is all done. That's nice. Do that one next. Oh, what am I clicking on? Go ahead. Ragnar. Ah, Iron Confederation's over there. Finish the, what Lydia started. Lydia paid the men of the Iron Confederacy half, or back in full for what they did to our lands, but at the time, CPF didn't simply have the resources to finish the job. As far as the Gatorino was concerned, however, dealing with dangerous subversives with a precedent, no less, call for an open purse policy, and then from the gallows. Deep in the recesses of northern Manitoba lie a cursed forest and marshes concealing within the horrors of the night seldom seen, seen since the immediate aftermath of the Great War. It is a cancer in the heart of our lands that must be pulled out by the roots at all costs. And then, Pedro's box. Well, we've already killed him off. That was a really terrible war. That's why I don't want to show it to you because it was so bad and frustrating. But whatever. Things happen. This is one of the rare campaigns where I'm actually not doing anything for special forces. Fine, we'll go with you. You've uh, begged uh, pleaded for us long enough. Just tons of tanks. Oh. Huh. We'll salt the earth and burn the forest. They'll never return. Well, paying them back. Now, comrades, said Katharina, in an unusually somber tone. I don't believe there's any need for me to go over the story of the burned tongue once again. Uh, I'm sure you got enough of that from your mothers and fathers. Many of the men in the room appeared dejected. A shadow cast over their eyes, murmurs filled the hall. Ekaterina waited just long enough for the memories of the slaughter to settle in. Of the men of the Iron Confederacy, butchering and burning their way through the lands of the Canadian People's Front, it was, in a lot of ways, the beginning of the end of the CPF. Eventually, she resumed. I think it's about time for some payback. What do you say? The slightly tipsy men in the front row cheered and started beating their chest with a fiery and fury in their eye. Ekaterina had seldom seen the sense before. Exactly what she needed up out of them for what was to come. We'll salt the earth. There we go. That's why we salt the earth. Good. Good. Oh, we did. Why do we have to suffer the consequences of this? We did most of the work here. We did like nothing. Come on. We're going to take at least that little modus. Just so we can get to the High Confederation as well. I guess technically we do have a navy. Still. Let me take it. It's fine. You're ready to go. You guys will be fully ready to go. Uh -huh. You guys will be ready to go, too. Since we're taking out all of Canada, we want to do all of it, you know. Give it a little bit of time. Anything else around here? No. Here. You guys can go here, then. Hey, defense is online. Yay. Oh, gliders? I forgot about planes. Completely forgot about him. I don't have a lot of stuff here. Loaded in survival training. Sure. 
because they can. All right, let's max this up. Sure. And then crossing at Easterville. To preoccupy with state affairs for their own good, the kingdom has left its northern flank vulnerable, and mistake that they will come to sorely regret. The king is the biggest suck-up. Having gained an initial foothold on the shores of Lake Winnipegosis, we come face-to-face -face with the king's lackeys. If we strike now, we have a good chance of subsuming them before Manitoba's lethargic bureaucracy realizes we have set up shop in their own backyard. Huh, well, they're dead already. Fine, we'll go this one too. If you demand this of me, so be it. Actually, you guys are over here, so you can just kind of wait. You guys are over there, too, so you guys can wait, too. Level 5. It's not terrible. It's not great. It could be better. Still only one political power day, which is truly god-awful. Painful, even. And... They immediately attack us, but I don't think they can really pierce through our tanks. But I could be wrong. I'd like a little more manpower, please. Monthly population, too. Thank you. Oh, 149 ships, huh? Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, our guys aren't super strong. They're trying, don't get me wrong, but... They're trying. From the gallows. Enemy agent turn? I suppose it was merely destiny. I always keep forgetting to do this as well. Good stuff. That's all that remains of the dredgers. I guess the last the real Canadian place is over here, near Victoria. Hello? Do we do we need to take every single tile away from them? Apparently. I wonder how bad our navy is compared to theirs. We have a lot of ships, don't get me wrong. That's fine. I'm going to stop training. Repair, but not really, because you're actually going to come all the way to Coover. Can you come to Coover? No, you can't. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. What if you just park 20 sh things right there? You build up a big old fort here. And you build up uh, stuff there. Oh, victory such as it is. Well, let's wait to do that one later. Still a lot of infrastructure to build, too. Oh, there's the new lands we get to get. Hey, refined mixture. Not really going to use it, but whatever. Boop. A little stronger, good. Oh. Battle tank. Great war tank. There's my mouse. Oh god. Let's see, if we go to war first, I don't think it's gonna do anything for us, but still. Do you guys actually win here? Yeah, you might actually be able to, maybe. Hang up the crown. Uh, how would you hold first? There you go. Uh, now, Carmen, you might have heard stories of the Galitzi realm to the east, the kingdom of Manitoba. Uh, led by a long, illustrious, and unbroken line of a, well, well, legacy. You can almost taste it. It got through and kicked her boots onto the nearby table. Making sure she had the attention of everyone in the room, but here's what they don't want you to know. It's a lie. All of it. They are no better than you or me. She waved a bundle of documents in the air before slamming it down on an adjacent desk. Take a look for yourselves. A legendary King Gun, first of his line, a little more than a garden variety raider. He saw an opportunity to put a little bow on his tribute runs, and he took it. Fast forward a few decades, and the men and women of Brandon have deluded themselves into thinking they can look down on us from the ivory towers. But are we going to listen to them? No, cried out the men in, front, in the front rows. A Catherine is smiled. That's what I like to hear. By the time this is over, we're going to be holding the next lunch break in the throne room. Drinks on me. 
So my chuckles could be heard. I'll settle the score with Gun a second privately. Uh, we could do that one. We don't have to. Got plenty of money. Yeah, it is anyways. Why not? Boom. No third man? Sure, why not? Losses? Anything major to report? 189? No? It's not from the front. Uh, or sports still. And rats, unfortunately. Diplomatic training's nice. Let's go down here. You guys just stock up here. Um, because you can. And because we don't need it. So they're continually attacking, which is fine with me. I don't really care. They're going to run out of manpower eventually, unless they're mobilizing more, which is even then fine with me. Uh, do that. And then do this. And then do that. And like I said, I completely forgot about uh, planes and whatnot. Hope she's learning something here. Maybe becoming a winter specialist? Team training's nice. Guess who's back? While the Manitoban nobles were busy playing court in their little palaces, we've gone ahead and stepped up over any and all who would have once called themselves their ally. How long will it take for them to snap out of these childlike fantasies and realize they're all dead men walking? No, they're certainly racking it up. Slowly by slowly, but surely by surely. Can we do the same thing here, maybe? Ah, that's what I figured as much. This is just a bunch of tanks parked over here. Don't worry about it. It's all for show. We put on shows. this. Thank you. And even the score. The old man sits in his ivory tower, lulled by his own delusions, as the mistakes of the past are washed away in treasonous blood. It's about time we pay him a visit. I'm not sure we can actually naval invade correctly or just go over the river correctly, but I'll see. I'll see. It's not like we have a navy we can use. And you're still trying to kill us here, too. At least you had a manpower, that's good. 30, this is our 10. We've already got guys here. Just, oh, look at that, some gunships, too? Nice. Oh, we don't have enough manpower for that. Oh, you know what then? Come on. Airs, little ships, this one, and. Uh... See what you can do. Hey, if you do that, you start winning a little bit, maybe. A little more manpower, nice. To tyrants and traitors. Uh, a cat three nine men stormed into the throne room of the royal palace at the back of the room, cast in dim daylight, set a withered old man with a look of someone who carried the weight of the world on his shoulders. The soldiers appeared confused, but a cat knew exactly who was before them. Leif Yorkton, she murmured. The legendary sewer of the north that dwellers of Manitoba spoke of with an admiration of fear, or at least a shadow of that myth, clutching his face, and through visible exertion, the man stood from his throne, stumbling towards the Katharina, laid in hand. The soldiers rushed to her side, but the captain halted them. She walked up to the decaying tyrant, effortlessly step-sidestepping a wild 
aimless swing before driving her knife through his chest. In that moment, Yorkton clutched Ekaterina's shoulder as he gazed into the dark ceiling above. Eleanor, I'm so glad you're safe. Oh, Eleanor. He breathed, or softly exhaled, as he breathed his last. Before dropping to the ground, Ekaterina lowered Yorkton's hand onto his chest, and over the final fine blade, wielded by the king. She gazed at him for a moment, before turning to her men. Clean up and move out. We are done here. Victory, such as it is. For the first seven years, color returned return of the faces of the Hall's regulars. Oh. A cat during his unification campaign ends the UCSR. No rest for the righteous. Now we're starting to lose here too, which is not good. How many have we lost? 200? Not ideal. How's the air war going, actually? I don't think we have enough political power really to core anything more here. Not too much more, really. Um... 5,000, yeah, 8,000 is not bad. Any place has a lot of population. Well, that's the best one I've seen so far. Oh, do you want a crown? Hey, great, finally. That took actually quite a while to do, didn't it? Infantry armor, alright. Riders. How much are we lacking? 1,400? That help gives us so much more manpower to work with. Holy cow. Uh, what do you have here? Fight the power. Cult of personality would make a lot of sense. Definitely slow going. Recover pretty quickly though, which is pretty nice. Um, lightning raids. Sure. No rest for the righteous. The halls of buzz, the stands filled to the brim. Some of the men were forced on the side of the room in lieu of seating. Others had opted to stand in the doorway as the crowd spilled out into the frigid cold of Lloydminster. Uh, Ekaterina scanned the room from the podium in silence as she took in the moment of triumph, the culmination of all of her efforts and all those who came before. Uh, look around, you comrades. Look out the window, she requested. You, you've only got yourself to thank for everything we've achieved. That you can be here tonight while your families enjoy a nice meal by a toasty bonfire. That did not come from nothing. And that's not where it ends. For every village we liberate, for every town we plant our banner in, and for every city we rust away from the uh, other, another power-crazed fascist, that is another people you're offered the same shot of life to. When a day comes, you'll, you'll get to stand before the pearly gates holding a gold-plated gold ledger in one hand and a silver Kalashnikov in the other. But I know what you are made of. I know that you're not going to settle. That's just as well. That's why I'm here before you tonight. The good folks beyond Lloyd Minster need another helping hand. They need wells drilled. They need shielding from opportunistic raiders. They need an education. Comrades, we're only as strong as the weakest link in the chain. Never forget that. And so I ask you one last time. Will you stand with me? Will you see our dreams realized? Will you give your hearts for the young man in Calgary and the loving grandmother in Winnipeg? Your countrymen, brothers, sisters? Be prepared to give everything you've got. Our story begins anew. And for the first time since the unification campaign started, there was applause. The unification campaign continued decisions. Replace Paranoid with the Unifier. Ooh, finally. Ooh, just thought Rogel Sims gets a lot worse, though. Party popularity got better. Montana expedition, huh? Interesting. So that's cool. That's actually really awesome. I'm sorry I didn't show you the war with the Britannian Empire and them all over there, but oh well. It's a bit late for that, but yeah. Catherine Donskoya. Very nice. I wish we had uh, better coring abilities and stuff like that, but you know, that didn't work out for us in this campaign. Um, are they, how badly are they killing themselves? How many divisions they have left? Up to six. Okay, I think they are literally killing their own divisions. I would at least like to end with uh, us destroying uh, New Victoria. That's all the Canadian states, I think. Yeah. Southwest Montana, Northwest Montana. Yeah, so everything around here, yeah, this is all Canada. Also, we have Lone, Lone Tree's Wyoming, so we're already in part of America, too. Nice. So, yeah, that's actually a lot of fun. This the Lloyd's Mystery, I knew it was going to be, like, in-depth. But I didn't know how in-depth it was really going to be with the Katharina. Now, I wonder if Solomon has as much content as Katharina does. I kind of doubt he does. But I could be extraordinarily wrong about that. I could be very, very wrong. Uh, let's go with Pragmatic Aviation. Let's 
still trying here. You're on a lot of experience though. Pretty nice. We've lost how many? 500 versus... Eh, it's not bad. I was looking better. We need to throw planes in the mix. We might actually be able to do better. Let's go ahead and do that one too, anyways. Oh. Did we get someone captured here, maybe, by accident? Whoopsie. Well, would you look at that? I'm still going to take us a while to get through this and whatnot, but still. Yeah, not bad. I just wish we had more political power. I mean, you think if you're a tyrant, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a tyrant, but, you know, we have a lot of power here. We could have uh, a lot of political power, a lot of influence over everybody. Yeah, are we still losing weekly stability? No, we're not. Okay, that's good. Go figure. What kind of manpower do they have? 2,000. That's quite a bit. They are using Marlux as well, which is kind of interesting to see. And one of these three agility, ground attack factor, bad with a penalty, where attack speed. Because what is it like here? They have two jet planes, but that's it. Maybe three. And we have nothing but normal planes here. Try playing attackers, yes. But yeah, I, I really like to enjoy playing this campaign because it you never almost get to use uh Fire Fighter Gear. Uh, and sophisticated vehicles. Sophisticated vehicle tech, I should say. Because when you have the opportunity to, you absolutely always should. It's just unique. You know, you don't have it a lot of the time. And we like being unique. Mobile recon. Mobile cams. Could have used that way earlier, like I said. I don't know, take the why not? So now that we're making a few planes here. Oh, another fighter. Well, I guess we don't need another fighter here. Doesn't hurt us. If anything, we've got plenty there. Nice. Now we're going to do some serious damage. Ching. Well, since we're here, Rejevic. 5,000. I guess we're going to come over here next. And go this way. We don't want to get more close to those Tri Cities. Look at that manpower. Oh. Very nice. Good force of defense. Now let's leave Maxi. This is one of the most unoptimal ways to ever do anything like this. Um, you know what? Just to say I've done it like this round. We're gonna go these two. I never ever choose them because I always prefer better special forces over more special forces. Heavy, light, of course we need to go light. Sure. Anything else here? Nope. Better train doggos. Pretty good. Riders. Now throw the doggos on there. Now we're gonna be out of doggos. Maybe. Lightweight metals, very nice. Go ahead and do that, it's fine. We've lost, what, 2,000? Only 1,000 versus their almost 3,000. That's pretty good. Especially if we continue to increase how much damage we can do to them. Oh, we're gonna need way more. Plenty of guns, plenty of trucks. Tons of tanks. Lots and lots and lots and lots of tanks. Eh, you don't have enough gas on you. More damage, please. And... 
Hmm. Sure. Your red mutts. Very nice. Advanced boundaries. Pretty good. Lots of steel. Still a thousand man for a while. Can I really not get these guys over here? Hello? No accessible regions. Well, that certainly does suck. What if we force the attack? Can we do that? Can we do any more damage to them? If we did that, we're going to do damage to ourselves by this point. Our industry is good enough. Our manpower is good enough. Go and spend it. That's fine. I mean, that really hurt us, but still. Well, I think I might just end it there, then. I mean, we've done very well anyways. I mean, at this point, we're just waiting to kill off this last little group here. And, uh, yeah, we get them in time. We're not very smart at how we're doing this, but that's okay. But, hey, this was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Um, I knew, like I said, I knew it would be involved, but I just didn't know how involved it would be for uh, this type of campaign. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a fat like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Use the code, nice. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great Ekaterina Donskoya Rostov. Your day.